Hi everyone, I'm Cody W3AMG with BridgeCom Systems, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and use AirBand Receive on your Anytone 578UV3+. Now, let's take a look over at the radio. So today we're looking at AirBand Receive, uh, which is really neat actually. I, I love AirBand Receive. Uh, when I was younger, my father would take me out and we'd, we had this little scanner that could scan the airplanes. And it was cool to be able to, to listen to the airplanes as they went over. And this radio does just that, and it does it even better. So let's set it up here real quick. So I've got my 578. I've got the uh, antenna connected. Have one outside the building here. And I've got it plugged into power. So let's see, we've got it turned on. Now let me turn down the volume on the, both the VFO A and B. And at this point, uh, we just need to turn it on. But to do that, we're going to need to find out what the frequencies are um, that we want to connect to. So if I jump in here to my computer, uh, let's have a look, see if we can find them. Um, so MCI. So, excuse me, typically what I will do is just do a Google search for the airport near me. Now we're close to, to the Kansas City Airport, MCI. And so let's see, Radio Reference has been a good resource for me. I've, I've uh, had good luck there. Uh, so let's see. Perfect, here we go. So here's some information. We have lots of different options here on what we want to listen to, but we're going to try out the tower today. I uh, usually have had good luck receiving from it. So 128.2, got that written down, perfect. Uh, so this will be my rec recommended option for finding these. Uh, now, if you don't have this, you can you could probably scan through the different frequencies as well. Uh, if you're out in the field, try to find some, uh, but this is the best bet. Look online for your uh, frequencies for your, whatever airport you're nearby. Awesome, there we go. So we have our frequency. Now let's jump over here to the radio and let's set it up. So first thing I'm going to do is go to menu. And then from here, we're going to go down to settings. Uh, now, once we're in settings, we can click on radio set and we're going to go down to other funk or other function. Then at that point, we're going to keep going down until we see AM air slash FM. So go ahead and click on that. And at this point, we have two options. We either have FM mode, which we're not interested in right now, like FM radio, or we can turn on airband for, for VFO A or airband for VFO B down there. So it's just a matter of which VFO you want it to be on, as this radio obviously has two, which is awesome. So we can have one thing on, on one and one thing on the other. So we're going to use VFO A for this, this example. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Awesome. So we have it selected there. It looks like we have, yeah, we're hearing something. So it might be the, the, frequency we, the frequency we are set to. Now, at this point, it's also a good idea to set your uh, AM squelch level, which is right here, this AM SQ level. Go ahead and click on that and uh, just make sure it's, uh, probably you want to input your frequency first. Uh, so, but I know from experience, I typically set mine on level two around here. Uh, works good for me, but just play around with this. You know, if you're not receiving anything, I'd go back to level one, but if you're receiving a lot of stuff that's no good, then crank it up. Uh, Squelch is just going to basically uh, filter out all of the things you don't want to hear, and it has to be a stronger signal to make it through the squelch floor, if you will. So we're going to select level two here. Uh, perfect. And now at this point, I can go back out and enter my frequency. Um, so what you want to do is just simply enter the frequency, just like anything else. So we'll do one, two, eight, and then press two. There we go, 128.2. And to fill that out, you want to actually hit the pound key on the keypad, and it fills out the rest of it, just like that. How cool is that? So we are set there. Now, at this point, we should be able to listen to this. So we'll turn it up. Uh, there's no guarantee there's actually going to be any air traffic today during this stream, but there's a chance. We'll keep it on for a minute. Um, and we can continue with the tutorial while we do that. So really we're set at this point. It was that easy. We can activate airband, uh, but there's more. So if you want to be able to, oh. There 
There we go. So it's a little bit hard to hear at the moment. Uh, they're, they're probably further away, far away. Um, you know, sometimes it's like that. I've, I've had some really clear reception here too. So it's going to depend uh, what you're listening to, where you're located. We're a little ways from the airport. Um, so, you know, if you're close to the transmission and you're good elevation, you're going to hear things super clear. Uh, for here, it's a little bit hit and miss. In our location, uh, some things come through clear, some things don't. But there we go, it's working. Uh, could definitely hear some people. And what I want to show you how to do next is actually set up a shortcut key because that would be somewhat cumbersome, you know, if you're out in your car and you want to turn on airband receive to have to go through all that menu, you know, you don't want to be doing that and then crash into a tree. So instead, uh, what we're going to do is set it up with a button. So we just press a button, turns it on, and then press that button again, it will turn it off. So to do that, we're going to go back in the menu and then go down to settings. And then from there, we'll go to radio sat. And this time we're going to go to key funk or key function. Uh, now here you'll want to select whatever key that you want to use. Now I like to use P4, but that's totally up to you. However you want to set this up, uh, make sure it's a short key because it will actually make you cycle through a few options. You're going to have to go through FM, AM, uh, air A and AM air B. So you want it to be a short key, not a long key. There we go select that and then at this point uh, it's a little bit contrary to what we would think but we're going to find fm radio this one right here so go ahead and select that perfect and we're going to back out and now we are set so if we if we click this p4 that selects it to am air b click it again turns it off Another time, FM mode. So that would be like your FM radio stations, believe. And then we can do AM air A. There we go. It looks like there was some activity on there. Perfect. So we have that set up. It is working. How cool is that? Um, so that's really pretty much it for setting up air band receive on your 578. Um, you make sure you have a 578 plus version of this radio to be able to do that. Uh, and it will work great for you. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you learned something from today's video. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell next to it to make sure you don't miss out on any more great content. That's all I have for you today. I'm Cody, W3AMG, 73.